Hi, Derek here on a grey Monday afternoon. Kids are at school, so what do I do? I get out my lights and start playing. Now this is the 4017 uh, decade counter with the triple five timer that I had shown you in the Starbust feature. But here I've got it hooked up in a different way where I've taken the outputs and made them run four different channels of lights. You can see the repeats on the board and uh, that's just in case you don't want anything hooked up when you're testing it. And then that's the lights that they're running over there. And there's a whole bunch of switches over here which you can select different patterns um, this one goes just run through the lot and goes and starts at the beginning but um, that one then does something else I can't really remember what I had in mind when I designed this in 1980 but um, looks like fun Sure beats the heck out of anything that you can buy commercially. And uh, you've got a potentiometer over here that allows you to select the speed of the operation. So you can actually make it flicker as fast as you want. Um, that looks like it's going onto a roll. That selects all on. And there you go, that looks quite nice. Hmm them with the same pattern. Oh, this one does something else. Anyway, just playing around with technology to show you that not everything needs to be modern. These are all components. I'm trying to get hold of them. You can see a whole bunch of resistors which are used to slave the outputs to the to the decade counter which is this little fella over here and all of that is being driven by this little chip over here which is just pulsating and um, yeah Well, you could have great fun playing with this, trying to figure out what does what. But the idea is that it's not doing the same thing all the time. And the extra electronics is so cheap. Now, I'll do a follow-up video on this using an Arduino and some relays. And now you're really making things move and do whatever you want because you can just write the program. You want the blue to come on, the number one, number two, number three, number four. We don't need to stick with four. With the Arduino, there are upwards of, you know, there are Arduinos around with 54 outputs. That's the Mega, which has 54 outputs. So you can run 54 channels, which will make your make you go blind trying to follow what's the pattern um, the idea being that all of this is uh, it's meant to create a different uh, sort of uh, pattern so that it's not all boring and making you you know um, dumb from having to look at the same two lights blinking at the same pattern and um, the electronics and the thinking of it is not that much more complicated, really. Um, all blinking lights just have something that pulses and something that measures the pulse and outputs them through a, a buffered output, which is what these uh, transistors are here. Up here you can see some TO25s or 52s or something like that. Can't remember the numbers now, 30 years later. But yeah, those pump up the power so that you could run a lot more than just light. You could run motors out of them. 
Um, of course, you'd have to slow it down a lot. Um, or you could run relays out of them. So I hope you've uh, picked up some ideas. And uh, follow me further when I explore flashing lights with an Arduino, which then allows you to um, make your display very much more interesting than just something that turns on and remains on till you turn it off and two lights that blink. Uh, mark step, which is boring as. And this one here, you can do whatever you want. Have fun. Derek, over and out.